Yo, what up? Uh, I just arrived in the Cayman Islands. I'm here visiting my brother and his beautiful wife, Laura, who is recently pregnant. Uh, I've never been to the Cayman Islands before, so I thought, why not make a vlog about it? I'm actually currently finishing off this vlog right here, and I was like, fuck it, let's make one in the Cayman Islands. I didn't know much about the Cayman Islands before I got here, but of course, most people know about it because it's a tax haven. My brother actually told me a story that there's one address in town that has over 40,000 registered businesses to it. So, you know, a lot of people come in here to save on some taxes. Fuck it, why not? But it is an island nation in the middle of the Caribbean, so there is loads of other cool shit to be done. So, yeah, let's check it out, see what we do. Uh, that was insane. First day in Grand Cayman and there for a little snorkel. Unreal. It's 6.30 in the morning. Look how beautiful it is, 6.30 in the morning. And uh, we're going for a run. We have to do it this early because any time after seven, it just gets too hot and you just end up dying. So let's get it. So what you probably didn't know about Grand Cayman is that there's a shitload of chickens that live on the island. The story goes that uh, quite some years ago, it's a really big typhoon. I mean, this is always big typhoon. And it blew over the one chicken farm on the island. And since then, there's just been thousands of chickens roaming the streets. Oh my God, it's so hot. times like these, in times like those, what will be will be, and so it goes, and it always goes on and on and on and on and on, on and on and on and on and on, and on it goes. And laugh and cry and birth and die and boys and girls with hearts that take a give and break and heal and grow and recreate and raise and nurture but then her time, time. Oh, that is so sick so sick out there man. that is insane insane Bro, we were hanging out with him whilst he was eating his one. I called him Jay. I just made a friend for life. When I was hanging out at the top at one stage, he was like hanging out and I kind of got the feeling he was like, who's this funny creature that just has to breathe all the time? 7.30 in the morning. It's about 30 something million degrees already. So we're gonna go have a quick gym session in an air conditioned gym and then go to the beach. If this place had surf, it would be like the ultimate destination. So far we've 
swam out to a sunken ship, swam with turtles. Tomorrow we're about to go swimming with stingrays. Yeah, it's been super nice to chill and reset a little bit. It's constantly 30 degrees, so yeah, can't really complain. Drinking a lot of water, writing a lot. This place is pretty sick. I like it. I've come just before hurricane season and you can see just what it's like. Over this side, summer paradise. And over that side, big rainstorm. I'm right in the middle of it. I met her at a backyard block party by the bar. And she kept looking at me like she knew. What's happening, bro? It's raining. Can you believe it? <laughs> Alright, today we are gonna do. What are we gonna do today, bro? We're gonna jet ski. Stingray City, boy. Stingray City. We just got on the jet skis and now we're gonna go check out Stingray City. Don't really know what to expect, I just know there's a load of uh, stingrays out there. So sick, look at the water. So we're going to get some coconuts, boy. Oh. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog from the Cayman Islands. I definitely had fun making it. Definitely recommend going out there. The place is cash, the sunsets are awesome, the vibes are just nice in the Caribbean.